What's up everyone, Vapictus here. This time I've got a semi-in-depth tutorial that will be going over my Mag Rider loadout, controls, keybinds, some mid-air maneuvering, precision landing, and some things to keep in mind while you're out there mag riding. Listed on the screen are most of my vehicle keybinds. I hope it's of help to you. Uh, I did change some things up to make it more comfortable for me and I would highly recommend that you have your look left and look right keys key binded to something that's comfortable and you'll see later in the video why that is. For the loadout I almost always use recharge, multi-directional exhaust, and rival chassis. Recharge gives you more options to refill your mag burn immediately whenever you need to when you press the button allows for good escapes, um, last second escapes, just filling up your mag burn, getting out of dodge. It allows for better launches, uh, just mid-air movements because you can hit that boost in the air whenever you need to. Uh, it's just really useful and fun. Multi-directional exhaust, highly helpful. And just being able to mag burn horizontally and also takes away the necessity at a lot of times where you need to drift before pulling off certain stunts while boosting up a hill. Uh, it just takes away the need for that and you can get to places that you are trying to go easier and quicker and without perfectly launching off that mountain or whatever to get where you need to go. Rival chassis, I recommend for the reverse speed. It's just another tool and tool set covering more ground in less time, easier dodges. It allows for backwards movement as well as left and right. So just more options to get out of there and less of you can hit into the damage. Uh, of course, I'd like my Mag Rider to be able to go faster. It's just the trade-off, you know, going faster and having less agility uh, and less reverse speed is just too costly for me. I'll take the agility and reverse speed any day. So with the keybinds and loadout out of the way, let's get on with the mid-air maneuvering and precision landings. So to put it simply with the Mag Rider, to get any sort of useful mid-air maneuvering going on, you want to get the Mag Rider into a motion off of the terrain nearby concave mountains of sorts, any sort of surface, abrupt incline surface, preferably with some weird shape at the top that allows the mag rider to get into a spinning motion as it gets the, you know, the peak of the launch. And from that spinning motion, you can direct the mag rider where you want it to go, activate recharge, and, you know, from there, land where you want to land, and just continue to cause mayhem or just do fun stunts all day with that's your thing. And when launching the mag rider into the air, I like the barrel roll type movements because you can, at any moment while rolling, choose where you want to go and gives you those options. Also, with the precision landing, while you are upside down, you have those brief moments of seeing your target destination while you're you know, in the air doing your thing, so if you pay attention and you look to see where you are during the roll, you can adjust accordingly and land where you want to land. And the barrel roll is not a necessity when doing a precise landing. It's just helpful and good to use when you can use it. It's good to use to escape if you have to, depending on the terrain nearby, if you're being rushed by several tanks or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, really what matters is to be able to get to where you need to go uh, safely without blowing the Mag Rider up and landing where you want to land. This ramp ahead of my Mag Rider is a steep, abrupt incline and if I was to just go forward and try to spin onto that wall without tapping the brake, I'm going to sort of run aground onto that ramp and it's going to slow me down and it's going to prevent me from doing what I'm trying to do. 
So instead, I'm going to tap the break, which is S, and then I'm going to go forward with the WA keys, and as soon as I go over that ramp, I'm going to twist in mid-air with the Q key and land on the wall, wiggle my way forward, pressing holding the S key the whole way through, all the way until I finish my lateral wiggle to the right, and once I finish that wiggle, I will let off the S key, and it will launch me straight into the air. And some final things I'd like to share uh, with the Mag Rider, when trying to do some chain movements from one movement to the next, it's not always about how fast you hit the keys, it's usually about the timing, and you know, tapping the brake at the right time and uh, moving from this motion to the neck. It's, it's not about hitting the keys as fast as possible and just, you know, going full bore, boosting immediately. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, and uh, please like and subscribe if this video tutorial has been of help to you. And I will catch you all in the field. Have a good one.